Hi guys, I'm Tim Schuitemaker and I will show you today how you can set up a dimension. A dimension is a thing you can book. In my example, I will be booking monkeys, so I will set up everything for you to allow to book a monkey. The first thing we do is set up an object. You can do that by going to the setup, to the object manager, create a new custom object, and in my, in my case, I call it monkey. You might already have an existing object in your environment. As the next step, I will add a new top to this custom object. So here we have the tab style collector. I just select a random one, press next, press next, and save it. Because this isn't a demo, I'll just add it everywhere. Normally, you might just want to assign it to specific apps. So we now have an object called monkey and going back to my calendar, which we're started from, I should have a new tab here called the monkey tab. There we go at the end. So let me create a new monkey. And maybe add another one. So I created two monkeys in the system, as you can see here. And, um, the next thing I want to do is make sure that these monkeys are bookable. The first thing I have to do for that is navigate back to the custom objects. So I go to setup, the object manager here, and go to the reservation object. It requires a lookup on the reservation object to the, uh, the dimension that you're booking. So that's the object we just created. So I create a new field on the reservation. It's a lookup field and it references monkey. And I just follow all the default patterns and save it. So now my reservation object has a field, a lookup field to monkey. You can see it here. Next step that I need to do is actually go back to Salesforce to the uh, Salesforce environment and set up a dimension. I can do that under dimensions here. So first thing I do is press new here and say, I want to be able to book the monkey. The next step is I creating a dimension field. You do that on the related tab from this dimension. So there's a dimension field here and I just say new here. This should be the API name of the field that we just created on the reservation. So. What I'm essentially doing here is saying on the reservation object, there is a field called monkey and that references the object monkey. To go back into this dimension field, you see that there are certain settings already pre-configured, like there is no availability checking, but there is double booking checking in this case. And you can change this uh, depending on your use case. So the next step will be to actually create a calendar. So I'm, I now tell that there is a thing that I want to book, which is called a monkey, but I didn't create any calendars out of it for it. So if I go to the calendar step here, I can press new and I select a multi-resource calendar. This calendar allows me to schedule multiple resources in a single view. If I would have selected single resource, it only allowed me to schedule one of the monkeys, but I want a multi-resource calendar. So I give it a name, say monkeys, and here I select a dimension again, say monkey. There are some other settings that I will skip for now, and you can find this on our documentation. So now I created a calendar, and once again, I go to the related tab and add a view to it. A view is a period in which you uh, look into in the calendar. So let's say I want a day view, and that's my default view, and it's the first button in the list, but I also want to have a week view and that's my second bottom in the list there we go um, I'm, I've now set up everything in terms of we have a dimension we have a dimension field which is the field that lives on the reservation and we have a calendar with two separate views so the next step will be to actually create a page in Salesforce where we can see that calendar you can do that by navigating to setup Lightning App Builder, which you can find under User Interface. 
then press new and select app page. The label should be something like a monkey calendar. And then you navigate there to the next step and select one region. All of these are supported, any custom template is supported as well, but for this demo I will use the single region. So now select the multi-calendar here, and then in the list of calendars you will see that the monkey's calendar is there. I save this, I need to activate this. So I need to save the monkey calendars and add it to perhaps. So closing this page. And refresh the page and now you see there's a new tab added here which is called the monkey calendar and if I click it you will see the two two monkeys that I've created and I'm able to just create a reservation on top of this um, monkey so this was a brief setup on how you can create a calendar for a custom object and use that as a dimension in one of your reservations if you want to set up availabilities, that's also an option in the system. What we could do is go to the setup, go to custom objects and look for the availability object. And in the availability objects, you create a lookup to the, the object you just created. So in this case, it's monkey. Next up, we have to go back into our dimension. And indicate what the name is on, of that field on that availability object. If I now go to the monkey calendar, you will see it show me nothing. That's because there's no availability defined for these two monkeys. So let me do that. Go to monkey to relate it and create an availability. So in this case, I could say that it's available Monday to Sunday for 24 hours. 